My name is Jake Garber. I uh, do makeup effects for K&B Effects Studio. Uh, I was a horror movie fan growing up. Uh, I used to like movies like uh, Frankenstein, Wolfman, uh, the Godzilla, all that sort of stuff. And uh, eventually started doing a lot of things on Halloween and that's kind of how my interest began. Uh, I think my first professional job was in, I guess, 1985, so I'm probably getting close to 30 years now. But uh, I started doing, you know, stuff like this when I was in the third grade, you know. I always say it's a Halloween hobby gone bad. Uh, I, did, I did a lot of commercials in Minneapolis, where I'm from originally, but uh, the first sort of... Uh, professional movie type thing was a movie called The Comeback, which was a movie of the week that had Robert Urich in it and uh, China Phillips. It was an awful movie, but <laughs> that was my first job. Uh, Walking Dead's a lot of fun, uh, I gotta say. Uh, I've had a few of them. Hellboy was fun, uh, and Django was fun. I've had, uh, luckily had some good projects to work on. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how how long the hours are. A lot of people kind of think it's sort of a nine to five thing and, and there's more probably glamour involved with it, but at makeup effects guys, you're usually in, usually some of the first people in because you have makeup applications that can take, uh, you know, three to four hours. So you're in there three to four hours before anybody else is there. So it, uh, probably the long hours is the biggest mis misconception. I've met some great people, uh, but also too, I get to, uh, I've literally traveled the world on somebody else's dime. So it's been kind of nice to bop around and see different parts of the world, uh, you know, and stuff that I wouldn't have picked sometimes and sometimes places I would pick. I really like Family Guy, I gotta say. <laughs> um, uh, Walking Dead is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little different because I work on it, so I kind of know a little bit more about it. Than it's harder to shoot watch it, it when you know, harder to watch it when yeah. you know the outcome. Uh, but yeah, probably Family Guy you like a lot. Oh, there are probably a couple of them. I think Frankenstein was probably one that really inspired me. Uh, the original Planet of the Apes and uh, probably Night of the Living Dead. Those were the ones that I remember really kind of hit me, hit me early. doing what I'm doing now. I don't know. I, I like what I'm doing. I, uh, I'd love to be able to spend a little bit more time off. As I said earlier, the, uh, the, the hours can be a little bit much. I'd like to probably enjoy life a little bit more for a while. Be prepared for a very volatile life and not in a, you know, basically it's like you're going to be working and then you're not going to be working, you're going to get paid some, you're going to get paid a lot, you're not going to get paid anything, so there's a lot of variables that happen in your life and you just have to be ready to handle those sort of changes. Oh, Daryl, yeah, absolutely, yeah, I would, uh, yeah, I'd probably be the one taking them out with arrows or knives or something like that. I don't know if I'd eat squirrels, but I'd, if I had to, I would. <laughs> Zombie necklace, ear Zombie ear necklace. ear necklace, which I actually had to do in one of my first movies, Universal Soldier. I had to do an ear necklace for uh, Dolph Lundgren.